So the 2,000 pound GBU Paveway Bunker Buster Bombs we sent them have finally arrived overnight. And you know why we're seeing so many unalive children uh, with no amputations, no bleeding or anything like that? It's because of the explosive yield on this thing is so great that it creates a massive shockwave. So this is about the science behind it. So when a bomb detonates, all the kinetic energy expands out from the locus of the explosion in what's generally called a shockwave, but it's really called overpressure. And if an explosion is big enough, it'll create a vacuum that pushes out all the atmosphere of the earth and that atmosphere will come rushing back in so you'll actually get hit by two separate shock waves. So you get blast overpressure injuries mostly in the lung, brain, the bowels, gas filled soft tissue organs that just rupture and then you bleed out internally. And of course children will always be more susceptible to blast overpressure injuries because their organs just aren't as developed as an adult. So is there a military necessity to be dropping 2,000 pound bombs? Not really unless you consider a military necessity to, to be unaliving every child within 100 meters of the point of impact. I mean, that's obvious. There's no escaping it now. They're, uh, the main talking point is they're dropping bunker busters on non-bunkers.